We await the FDA's emergency use approval. Western Mass News is getting answers to questions you've been asking about the COVID-19 vaccine. Both Pfizer and Moderna's shots were developed using a relatively new technique. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live with more. Audrey. I spoke with a microbiologist about some of the frequently asked questions surrounding these mRNA vaccines. Next week, local hospitals could receive their first doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. Several drug makers have used the mRNA technique to create their shots, rather than using a weakened or dead form of the virus like some traditional vaccines. So the first question we asked UMass microbiologist Erica Hamilton, what is an mRNA vaccine? In it is this small piece of genetic material called mRNA. It's a recipe for how to make things called proteins. Hamilton says the COVID-19 vaccine contains no full viruses, but it essentially tells your body to make spike proteins for the COVID-19 virus. Your body recognizes it and says, hey, that's a problem. That shouldn't be here. It creates an immune response. There's concern over side effects like fever and body aches, things that feel like symptoms of coronavirus. Our next question, can I get COVID-19 from the vaccine? Hamilton says no and says those side effects are actually a good sign because it means that your body is reacting to the vaccine and your immune system is doing what it is supposed to do. Some vaccines are developed in different cultures like egg. So we asked what else was in the vaccine. They have coated the pieces of mRNA in something in a compound that acts as a carrier and a protectant for them. The compound is safe for human use. Because mRNA is genetic material, some people have asked whether it could harm the rest of their DNA. It can't physically happen. Our bodies do not have the ability to take a piece of mRNA and put it into our DNA. Now, Hamilton says some full viruses actually can alter our DNA. She used the example of the human papillomavirus disturbing our cells and creating cervical cancer. However, because this vaccine doesn't contain any full virus, she says that's the reason why it won't happen. Reporting live in Springfield, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.